Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your severe weather source for the northern Atlantic. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 17th, 2011, and high pressure is in control with beautiful weather conditions. We do have a strong cold front that is setting up over the central Great Lakes down through the Mississippi River Valley with a very intense area of low pressure over portions of central Canada moving towards the Hudson Bay, but this cold front will not reach the northern Atlantic for at least another 24 to 36 hours. I just want to show the visible satellite picture here, and you can see clear skies all over the northeast down through the mid-Atlantic. An excellent morning for any outdoor activity, and it's even going to get better as we move on through the afternoon. In fact, when we look at our temperatures and dew points, and let's zoom in, you can see that our temperatures are rising into the lower to mid 70s. Now, I'm expecting our high temperatures this afternoon to push into the lower to mid 80s along the immediate coast, and then away from the coast, anywhere from the mid to upper 80s this afternoon as sinking air enhances our surface temperatures. And we have very dry air in place as well, for this time of year at least with our dew points ranging anywhere from 56 to 60 degrees in portions of the northern interior and the rest of the region ranging anywhere from the lower to mid 60s. So again, for this time of year, that's pretty comfortable uh, levels of humidity in the atmosphere. Now, I want to use the water vapor satellite picture, and this is the current satellite picture as of 9.38 a.m., and you can see there is quite a bit of dry air setting up over the northern mid-Atlantic. This is very important because it means that air is sinking, which is why we're going to warm up quite a bit this afternoon, especially away from the coast. I would not be surprised, be surprised if someone in the Philadelphia metropolitan area touches 90 degrees with this type of setup because you have air coming off of the Appalachian Mountains and you have sinking air aloft, and that usually enhances temperatures a little bit more than what the model guidance is suggesting. So it's certainly something they're going to keep an eye on. And then here is our cold front with a very strong upper level trough over portions of the Western Great Lakes and upper Midwest. This cold front and this disturbance will remain to the north of us over the next 24 to 36 hours. But the tail end of this cold front will approach the northern Mid-Atlantic by tomorrow evening. But I'm not really all that impressed with the development of this air mass as far as potential for showers. Now I know that the model guidance right now is trying to produce a few scattered showers and thunderstorms for the northern Atlantic tomorrow. But the reason why I'm not all that impressed with it is because all your lifting and dynamics are clearly moving towards New England and portions of the St. Lawrence River Valley. And there really isn't much of a return flow of moisture from the Gulf Coast ahead of this cold front. There's a little bit and enough to produce a few scattered to isolated showers tomorrow evening, but I really don't see this as being a significant rainfall event whatsoever for tomorrow evening. Again, you could see an isolated shower, but after 7 p.m. when the sun sets and the atmosphere stabilizes, I think that threat will be limited to pretty much finished. So if you have any outdoor activities tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening, continue to plan for them, and uh, I don't expect much in the way of an impact. So what can we expect moving forward? For this weekend, what we're going to be keeping an eye on are these disturbances from the western, from western Canada diving southeast in this very weak trough. Now what's happening here is that the pattern is starting to feel the influences from the tropical um, remnants of tropical storm girth uh, influencing our pattern. So we continue with this weak negative NAO pattern. As a result, we have these weak areas of low pressure that will develop around the mid-Atlantic coast and, and start to import moisture from the Atlantic into the coastal plain. This will produce a threat for scattered showers, but because winds are coming in from the east and southeast off the Atlantic, 
the air mass is going to be relatively stable, which means that, yes, it'll be moisture loaded, but it really won't be supportive for strong to severe thunderstorms. So I'm expecting the threat for scattered showers from Friday on through Sunday throughout the northern mid-Atlantic. Your best potential for rainfall will be on Saturday as the winds off the Atlantic at the lower and mid-levels will be strongest. Again, we're not looking at a major storm nor a washout, just a threat for showers. They'll be scattered in nature, so there's a good chance you might not see any rain at all. And if you do, it won't last all that long. And then we have a very strong cold front that I'm expecting for Sunday night through Monday. And this cold front will not only produce scattered showers and thunderstorms, but will have a major change in the air mass. You can see 850 millibar temperatures falling off rapidly behind this cold front. And then for next Tuesday and Wednesday, high pressure will be in control. A much cooler and drier air mass will be in place. We're looking at high temperatures by next week in the 70s for most locations, possibly a few lower 80s, and dew points in the 50s. So we are looking at a much drier and cooler air mass coming in after this coming weekend. So to recap, for today and much of tomorrow, look for dry conditions with scattered clouds at most. By tomorrow evening, an isolated shower is possible, but not much else. No thunderstorms, I don't think, with this uh, first cold front that collapses over the northern mid-Atlantic. And then for this weekend, a threat of showers from Friday on through Sunday. The best potential will be on Saturday, but again, we're not looking at a washout or heavy rainfall, light showers in nature, and then a cool but dry air mass returns for next week. Thank you for trusting in NYNJPA weather as your severe weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. To find the latest weather information and severe weather coverage, always trust in nynjpaweather.com or find nynjpa weather on Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Have an excellent day.